Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my FTV Genesis playthrough. And this thing is still... I have a pause right now because I was building up energy. I was like, well, maybe it was goofing up because it wasn't getting a steady supply of energy. So I put, built an MV capacitor up top. And that should keep this thing full. Yeah, it is. So... There's nothing else that'll cut down on the amount of time between tries. Hey, yep, that was it. It was a power supply issue. So it has to have steady power, at least at the end, for it to uh, work properly. Oh, you're full of honey. Um, no, that's fine. We got dyes. Let me give you back the baby upgrade. Where the hell that went? There it is. Maybe I'll get some, you know, baby diabetes out of here or something. But, but we're getting, well, red and pink dye anyway. Really? Oh, grinding from elemental craft. Okay. Wondered, I'm like, hey, 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 hello, Digger B. I wonder, can you go in? No, no, you can't. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. More jeans, <laughs> and that does not stack with these. So even though it doesn't mention anything, these do keep track of what bees, you know, they were part of. So now the other thing I can do is spawn you in, grab you, and it's actually just a regular pull out adult bee. Awesome. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and drop you in here. You should be fine, right? Uh, there. There we go. So Inferium B and Divey. Okay. And I will worry about getting the other hives and everything set up over there eventually. Uh, let's go ahead. This is from our Digger B. So let's see what all genes we get from you. All right, productivity high, weather tolerance same, diurnal, diurnal, weak, normal, and type. You know, honestly, I don't think, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it in here anyway, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to ever need that type again. I didn't see anything stellar from the stats, so. And... One of you. There we go. Alright, now if I get babies, I can also, you know, from breeding, I can grow them up in here using honey treats. I think it was four honey treats, and it doesn't, you know, elevates the bee all the way to adulthood. Alright, we're doing good there. Yeah, no, it was, it was a power issue. I got to wondering about it after a bit, and it's like, that is what makes the most sense, really. Because everything else is being done exactly how it should be. Also, let's turn those into seeds a while ago. I forgot about them. Not the transport of this. There we go. Yeah, it's all backstuffed. This is all backstuffed. This is basically all backstuffed. So, and you, yeah, you're same as well. Perfect. Just what I wanted. And we'll grab those. I don't need to worry about that yet. I only process diamonds when it gets to a full stack, so. And this is just for scrap over here. <laughs> I'm getting a good amount of scrap that I don't need. Well, not yet anyway. Uh, I will be getting into a mass fab here soon. Uh, right. You. 
Well, I say soon, right? Uh, next couple episodes, probably. There you go. And this is all my 100% jeans. So what I should probably do at this point is just make up a bunch of honey treats, a bunch of these guys. They're pretty basic, right? It's honey block, four honeycombs equals four honey treats. Or we can do, you know, honeycomb plus honey bottle. And I've got all of my hives stored over here in this thing. Also, I've got a digger bee and a ashy mining bee. Neither of which really have much use. Can I warp through for it? Yeah, I can. So let me toss you in there and we'll do that. And we'll toss you in there and hit the lever. There we go. Alright, I didn't drop the die off either while I was over there. Oh well, that's fine. And... Let's put you there, I guess. I mean... Okay, there we go. Oak nest. And I have three regular bees in this hive. Oh, hello. What are you? Green carpenter. Alright. Oh, off camera, I also made the belt. Sojourner Sash from Batania. Gives me step up, it gives me basically haste one or speed one. Is that all the nests? I think so. There we go. Should probably make some more nests as well, right? Quartz nest, but I need uh, silk touch to get that silk touch pick. Same with the nether gold nest. Nether brick nest is a thing I can do though. Uh, end stone is a no go. City and nest, I, yeah, I can. It's just going to take a diamond sword, but I've got diamonds, so that's not an issue. Glowstone nest is a thing. Okay. Slimy nest is a thing. It's just a slime block, right? Yeah. Bamboo nest? Oh, that's kind of cool. You don't even have to use a sword on that one. Gravel nest. Acacia and jungle. Those two, I think, have recipes because we got the other four logs uh, in the zone. What do you want to call it? The B zone or whatever. So we've got 1,200 seconds to go. So 20 minutes on those. Uh, this thing is doing fine. We don't have to worry about replacing these ever, it seems like, which is perfectly okay. And... Oh, yeah, I've got a bunch of bees here. Chocolate mining bee. Let me put these single-use bee cages away. And... Yeah, okay. Inventory woes yet again, right? Like a never ending process. Okay, how much of this can I pull? Four for now? Okay. You can go in there. Leave those in there for now. Activity high, temper normal, endurance normal. Another inferium thing. I could make another inferium bee. And then later on, I can uh, breed those together if I want more. So that's not terrible. Uh, okay, weather tolerance. Okay. 
sort. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, she mining. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and over here, I guess. You absolute jerk. It phased through this block here to go into this nest. What an absolute twat waffle. All right. How are you doing that? Which nest did you just go into? This one. Like it. You are a little pain. Exactly what you are. You go over there. Mason B, huh? Thank you. The Redson B went into there. <sighs> and that one just died. Trapdoors. Uh, yeah, no. No, no, no. Nope, stop. You, why are they, they're like halfway in this block. Oh, <laughs> this is not, no, no, no. what is going on here? They're treating this stuff like transparent blocks. The piston I can understand, because this is technically a transparent block. You will not suffocate if this goes over your head. Got him that time. Ah. You guys need to come the hell out of these nests now. I wonder if there's just enough bees for like 119. Take the JEI add on. All right, so a bit of time has passed, and I've got myself draconic, magmatic, and glowing bees as well. And we're getting magmatic and draconic combs. The glowing bee does not want glowstone, apparently. It didn't want poppies either. And then over here, we've got our inferium and diabees. And I'm pulling this baby upgrade out, because I just keep getting more diabees. And, yeah. Kind of like, eh, whatever, kind of thing. Uh, also, I've got all the different nests. The only one that doesn't work is the bamboo nest. There are no bees in this location that move in. The rest of them attracted just fine. So, 
Not exactly sure. But our Inferium Bees, they needed a block of Inferium. And let's see, I've got Blue Banded, I've got Blue Banded Chocolate, another Blue Banded, Regular Bees, uh, Carpenter, Sweat, and I think, yeah, Slimy Bee is in here. So if I look up Slimy, and it just says Flower for bee flowering. If we look up uh, Glowing Bees, these guys, they're flowering is Redstone Lamp, Shroom Lamp, or Glowstone. So maybe I should try putting my Slimy Bee into here. There it goes. And we'll see if it produces with just, you know, regular flowers, or I might need to put a slime block down or something. Not sure. Glowstone Bee is kind of unfortunate. It's not wanting to do anything quite yet. But if we do Draconic Homes through this interview, we get Draconic Dust 30% of the time. And we can turn nine of those into a Draconic Chunk, then eight of those and an egg into an inactive Dragon Egg. Or we can also use it to make productivity upgrades. But you know, I've got one. Here. You can have a productivity upgrade. Magmatic Homes, they produce, well, Magma Cream. So. Do I have any bees hiding out in here? Doesn't really look like it. Okay. And then over here is a bee breeding ish area that I was trying to set up. Um, I was trying to breed a green carpenter and a yellow carpenter together. Because looking up on the internet, you can get a lumber bee from that. Thing is, is a. Uh, Everything dies way too damn quick. Uh, let's see if I wanted to do, say, a sweat bee, because I've got a bunch of them, and a blue banded. You gonna breed? Hey, they popped out a baby. Cool. Baby blue banded. Okay, yep, yep, and, and you're dying. So, yeah. Um, adult, adult, child. Yeah, it's that one. So, I don't know if bee breeding is actually going to work or not, but I can tell that uh, it's going to be rather interesting trying to get it to work. Let me get some more honey treats out and. We'll do the wood bees. So another brick gave me a magmatic. Uh, the obsidian nest gave me the draconic. Glowstone going bee. I don't think I need to worry about any of the other ones right now, but I've got another 20 minutes to wait on those. So we should look at getting into stainless. Stainless steel. Now there's going to be a slight issue here. Okay, our lathe takes 240 volts. I'm going to need 480 to use this energized alloy, which we can use. I can make an alloy, huh? Aluminum glass. Oh, just regular metallic slag out of that, huh? I don't think I'm going to go that route, but we can do coke or enriched carbon to make steel. I like that idea. Because that's two to one now, instead of one to one. Uh, we can make different alloys, electrum, we can make vanadium, steel. But there's also stainless. One chromium, three steel. Chromium is osmium dust plus prosperity shard in the same machine. So, But we need stainless in order to make ourselves a mass fab, because we need stainless to make the stabilized machine blocks. And we're looking at... Sure, alloy furnace structure, okay. Uh, ISU, crop library, bulk crafter, hydroclocked pump, mass fab, villager o mat, 
or scanner, ISU upgrade kit, steam tunnel, ESU upgrade kit, colossal base block, electric fisher, ESU, uranium enricher, and teleporters. And of course we can recycle. So I need, oh, what is this thing called again? The upgrade transformer? Okay. It looks like there's only the two, so we just need another one of these things. Not really a problem. I think I can craft that up relatively quickly. And I went ahead and cleaned this thing out because it was just kind of annoying. How did I just hear like item pickup noises? Yeah, iron ingots. I... Why? Why did you do that? Why is it spitting items at the top of that pile? I have no idea now. None whatsoever. Okay, so... It was... Yeah, red is input. Okay. I don't know if 10 wire is going to be able to withstand this thing, though. Withstand the 480 volts. No, not that but in this one. Pick 10 wire. Oh, well, I didn't need those machines anyway. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Break that. I'll just put this down. And now we needed osmium dust, which I think I put over here. I'll have to remake those machines later. It was the melter and the centrifuge. I just, everything is way too compact right here. And with how these cables blow machines up, it's, yeah, not ideal. I need to make an actual machine room. Hey, look at you go. And now we got some metallic slag as well. This stuff we can turn into fertilizer from reverse of engineering, as long as we get some niter. Let's melt it into slag glass, crush it into slag gravel. Which we can use as gravel, so. And it was three steel, or, yeah, steel. And you can have honeycombs and that for now, and soul sand, I don't need that. Or the poppy. Boom. Stainless steel. Yeah, let me put you and you away. You can go there, and we'll put that away. All right, so that's done. That's done. I found these. You can fly. Um, I need glowing dust, which is not bad there. Glass panes. I need phantom membranes, though. That's going to be the issue, because I've never seen them phantom yet. And I've been outside at night whenever I haven't slept in forever, so... Thinking if we want to make these, we have to go... Well, I doubt we're gonna... Get that. But the, uh, the antiprotonic nucleosynthesizer. So... You... I need two of these. Uh, let's see, I need, I need two of these. Well, there's one. Let's go ahead and request another one. Then, don't like how this thing requests. And it was what reinforced is what's now advanced alloy. These. Uh, we're going to be doing these. Now I just need some magnets, which might be in here. Nope. Those can go on there, and we will use those to make these. Now we're going to need some Lapatron crystals. 
means I need an energy crystal. I have no idea why. Oh, I need to get into applied energetics soon. Hey. Now, here, let me just turn my magnet off so I can have an idea of how much it's spitting it out. And it's not like the pipes aren't connecting, because items are flowing through. It's just spitting excess crap on the ground. So I need one of those. I need two of those. And then I need one of these. I ended up with a bunch more copper than I needed and a whole other recipe's worth of lapis. Yeah, it's into extras of these two. No idea. All right, mass fabricator. I need an advanced circuit, two advanced circuits. So I need two more of these. If I request without recursive crafting, looks like it might be fine. Let's just turn that off. Nope. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm lost. So crafting is disabled, so I... Okay, well. Waiting request to complete, it says. You know, this is an awesome thing in principle. It really is. But for some reason, I just can't seem to get this stupid thing to work right. Right, um, yeah. Writing, waiting, request to complete. What request? Stop. You, you don't need those. There. All right. And just send me four glowstone. All right. A, it actually moved to the tube. I saw it that time. Well, there is our mass fabricator. Now, I'm thinking I might set this thing up over here-ish. I've got a lot of slag here. Uh, what are these things called again? LV flux converters. I think I might have one of those laying around somewhere. All right, well, here's hoping I don't blow something up, right? Oh, I put on the wrong thing. Probably wouldn't have worked if I left it there. Uh, I made a flux in medium voltage flux converter. Got power. Okay. It's going to be extremely slow. That's fine. Uh, for now, we're just going to grab a stack of scrap because that's all it can hold. I will set up something later. There it goes. Amplifier 10,000. Show recipes. Still takes 7 million EU per UU matter. But it can take up to 512 EU per tick. Apple pair 100,000. Regular scrap should work for now. I'm assuming since this is full, it is getting power. So, And since this is basically just limitless energy right here for me, then we should be fine. Should be. You know, it's the operative word. 
You know, let me come over here. Let me hit up recipes for this quest. Good Inferno we did, Enhanced Farming we did, Secret of the Seeds we did, Suspicious Seeds, it's the same one. Then related to reality. Um, oh yeah, it's like, okay. That's like the first farm that I completely gutted. Empower, Hive, and okay. So we don't have any more of these to do, so I could probably start running wires and so on and so forth from here over to there. So I don't think I'm going to be switching out the simulation chamber pretty much ever again. Um, they got all the B stuff. How are you even still alive? Seriously. Like every other bee died extremely quickly. And then there's you. Oh, I see what happened. He he come out of one of these. These nests here, the uh Yeah, these ones are on cooldown. So this one. I didn't do anything to this one and it randomly spawned a carpenter bee for me. Do I have my... I do not have my ethereal glass on me. Just uh, give me one of those, would you? He flew up the ladder is what happened. Alright. My barrel of bees here. Do I have a... I have a green carpenter. I have a yellow carpenter. I need flowers. Um, got roses in there. I got a, a dandelion. Got an orange tulip. And over here is where I kind of set up for my bee breeding area. They can't fly away, so. Do the thing. That's a new bee. Where are you little... Get over here. What are you? Lumber bee. All right. We can do bee breeding. It's just um tricky. Lumber bee is a child. Uh, let me grab my... Oh, my honey trees were on me. Drop those in there. Progress bar is moving. So I goofed. I had this thing facing the wrong way. So. Alright. We are now producing UU Matter. Fine. And it's going to take oh, probably like five minutes per... Uh, I do have my lumber bee now, and I gave him a flower, and I gave him a spruce log, and he has not done a thing yet. The glowing bee finally did produce something. It's just, uh, it takes uh, quite a bit longer than the magmatics to do a cycle, it looks like. And we got slimy combs, we got inferium. Uh, this is probably the only way to really get inferium in bulk, because it shows here, like, inferium seeds, but there's no recipe for inferium seeds, so... Also, I probably should get rid of the dye bees. I don't need, I don't need that much dye. Dye bee, thank you. And this should be a dye bee as well. No, that's an inferium bee. You can go back in. That's an inferium bee. That's a dye bee. There are ways to make the sturdy bee cages, but I need emerald essence for that first. So, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. But yeah, they've been producing nothing but red and pink dyes. So, I imagine it's because of the flowers. I don't really need a large amount of dyes right now. And I still have these things over here. So, yeah. you guys can go away. I will worry about you guys later on. 
I think for the most part, uh, let's see. Genes, yeah, gene sample, here we go. We can make these in the metallurgic confuser after we get UU matter. And honestly, we can make a metallurgic confuser right to the second. So that's not a problem. Now, how was I going to make osmium ingots again? Reinforced alloy, 960 volts, okay. So, you know, the reinforced alloy, actually, uh, is not that far out of reach. We just needed the stainless steel from the previous tier, and then we can upgrade that. Now, stainless steel plate is just one-to-one. -one. That's not a problem. I just need to do one more stainless recipe, and then I can upgrade. But then I'm going to need another transformer, upgrade transformer. Now, let's see, at 30%, that's probably two dust is what it starts off as. Yeah, draconic dust, and then we turn that into chunks, and then chunks we can use to do stuff with. Including inactive dragon eggs, which we can make a heated centrifuge with. Try pouring some dragon stuff on it. Okay. But there was a draconic nest as well. We may not be able to make it in this pack, so. I think the draconic nest was for like ender bees or something. I've got a lot of bees in here that have just uh, gone into hiding because they're jerks. The banded bee. Green carpenter. Yeah. I got the lumber bee. I I had to find like a like a family tree of bees that the creator of the mod made. Uh, let's see, lumber bee plus sweat bee would equal a rancher bee. Lumber plus resin equals plastic. A rancher plus a QB equals a farmer bee. QBs are from a nest. They're found in the wild, I'm guessing. So I haven't gotten those guys yet. Uh, actually, it looks like rancher plus farm. Oh, no. No, yeah, QB plus rancher equals farmer bee. Actually, no, it's uh, farmer plus rancher equals Q. There's no arrows on this family tree, by the way, so. Uh, but rancher plus lumber equals a farmer bee. And then that will equal a QB. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one. The sign signing out. Have fun.